Hello everybody, I'm Juan Fernandez. We want to update you now on the stories we're working on tonight. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. The current flu season here has already turned deadly. LA County health officials say a middle-aged man with underlying health conditions died from the flu. Last season, LA County recorded 125 flu-related deaths. A homicide investigation is underway at a homeless encampment in Boyle Heights. Around 1 a.m., police say a man was shot to death under a bridge on First Street and Mission Road. Police say the man, about 20 years old, was shot in the head. Officers have no information on a suspect. A cyber attack crippled the computer system of the San Bernardino School District. The virus hit the computer system over the weekend. The district posted a message on its website saying the ransomware attack locked files and emails but the district assures students and parent data is secure. The district says they are already trying to fix the problem. Well, it's not even Halloween yet, but it's already beginning to look a little bit like Christmas. The Grove kicked off the holiday season with the arrival of its Christmas tree today. The white fir from Mount Shasta is more than 100 feet tall. It will be unveiled with a public tree lighting and holiday show on November 17th. All right, now here's meteorologist Amber Lee with a look at weather. Hi Juan, we are dealing with much more of the critical fire danger as we head into the rest of the week and that's because above average temperatures breezy offshore winds and also very dry conditions. So ahead of this next Santa Ana wind event on Thursday, we already have a fire weather watch in place for most of Southern California because we're expecting gusty winds up to about 60 miles per hour in some areas. But take a look at our highs for tomorrow. Even hotter than today, we're talking low 90s for the beach, 95 for LA and Orange County Metro, 96 for the valleys, and then we start to cool just a touch on Wednesday. We still stay above average. It's just not going to be quite as hot as tomorrow. And then by Thursday, that second Santa Ana wind event takes shape and that means temperatures will start to warm up all over again through the end of the week. And then by the time we head into Sunday, that's when we start to see those temperatures finally cooling down closer to normal. Amber, thanks. Join us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6 and 11 for the latest on your weather forecast and all our top stories. This has been CBSLA.com's The Rundown. And watch CBS in Los Angeles streaming 24-7 on CBSLA.com or on the free CBS News app. We're also on Xbox One, Roku, PlayStation, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. For Amber Lee, I'm Juan Fernandez. Have a great night.